Hey everybody, it's Lenny here. Welcome back again with this last video on Ring Partner. Uh, I'm going to show you um, how to apply to a new campaign. Again, like I said before, it's a very, very simple process. Um, as you can see, I'm on the campaign screen and I'm looking at about 10 available campaigns. Um, I'm going to apply to the campaign. Uh, it does take a day or so to get approved. So the example I show you will not match the, the campaign that I'm applying to right now as uh, in this example. But I will show you uh, one of my YouTube channels that I have not really applied or done anything with, but uh, I have ranked a couple of videos uh, using this exact method uh, that I'm going to show you right now. So I don't know if you can see the screen or not, but um, like I said, I'm on the campaign screen and there's an offer called Water Damage Restoration and Repair. The payout for this call is $14 per call. The average seven day earnings per click is $484.62. Now I try to choose an offer that has a uh, seven day EPC because that tells me the offer is converting for other affiliates and um, it's not like one of these new offers where I have to kind of test the waters for myself. I know this offer will convert. Uh, so the first thing you do is click on the offer. And then you want to take the time to kind of scroll through here and see uh, what's laid out in the overview. You want to know what the restrictions are, what type of traffic is allowed, if there's anything that is not allowed. And as you can see for this offer, there are a lot of things that are not allowed. Um, typically when I'm doing these things, I want to put up a YouTube video and I want to follow that up with um, putting out like a couple uh, Web 2.0 properties like Tumblr or Weebly um, or Blogger and we'll get to that process in a minute. But if I come to a, a, uh, an offer and the guidelines are fairly strict, um, if I can't do any social media, which includes uh, YouTube marketing, then I'll typically stay away from that offer. Um, but just to show you the process, um, I'll read through this description here and make sure everything is fine. Um, I check the hours of operation. It's good to find an offer that has 24-7 operation because if anyone calls your phone number at any given time, uh, it's a higher probability you'll receive a payout versus if you're working with an offer uh, for a company that's only available Monday through Friday and someone's calling on the weekend, you're not going to get paid out for those calls. Uh, and it's likely the person may leave a voicemail and the company will still get the sale anyway. But just for example purposes, if I wanted to apply for this campaign, it says, please describe how you plan to promote this campaign as it differs from your general promotion methods. This information will be provided on your application along with your company profile. So, for example, I, like I said to you before, I, I start off by promoting these uh, these offers via YouTube video. So I'll say um, I plan to promote this offer by ranking YouTube videos on the first page of Google and YouTube. It is that simple. You could be a lot more descriptive. I personally don't do that because I have to submit a creative as well. I click apply to campaign. And this sends an alert to Ring Partner letting them know that Lenny wants to promote this campaign. And then what I have to do here, <clears throat> within 24 hours, you must submit what's called a creative. And a creative is nothing more than a sample of the video that I plan to use to promote this campaign. And that is just protection for Ring Partner and the business uh, they'll be selling these leads to because they want to make sure the, vo the video is appropriate. It's not saying anything that's going to uh, have a negative impact on the company's reputation or ring partner's reputation. And so there's a section here where you would simply upload uh, the uh, video file. And I have several local video templates that I use. I would upload the, uh, the video creative. And then once the creative is approved, I will come back here to promo numbers and I could choose a number. I could choose a 1-800 number. I could choose local numbers for whatever city or state that I want to promote within the United States. As long as it fell within the parameters of um, the area codes and the zip codes that are available for this offer. And as you can see, it says target callers from all United States. So I will be perfectly within my bounds to get a local number for any city or state uh, within the United States. So as you can see, applying to a campaign is very, very easy. So really quickly, I put together a few slides. Let me talk about uh, the process here. So when you're doing this, you can either do this two ways. You can do free traffic or you can do paid traffic. Free traffic would be YouTube videos, uh, Facebook, 
Twitter if these methods are allowed. I, I, I strictly kind of deal with uh, YouTube for free traffic. Um, so I would set up a niche YouTube channel. So if I wanted to promote a plumbing offer, for example, I would set up a new YouTube channel and it may be like something called the, Net, the National Plumber Network or uh, 24 Hour Plumbers of America, something um, to where I can put all my videos or a good portion of my videos um, and lets the user immediately know no matter where they live in the United States, they can call this number that I provide and get plumbing services um, that they can depend on. And then secondly, I would set up a Web 2.0 on Weebly, Tumblr, Blogger, or any Web 2.0 uh, and try to rank that website for those same uh, keywords that uh, I would think a person looking for a particular service would type into Google, Bing, or any other search engine. So like 24-hour emergency plumber, emergency plumber near me, uh, affordable plumber. These are the kind of keywords that I would be looking to rank for. And as you can see, this is doing it the free way. If I was talking about paid traffic, uh, not a lot of not a lot of people know this, but Google actually has a pay per call service. It's similar to pay per click. You choose the keywords that you'd like um, your ad to pop up for when someone is typing uh, certain keywords into the search engine. And instead of paying per click, you only pay when the person calls the phone number that you have provided. This requires a landing page to be approved by Google. And uh, it's a very, very simple process to set that landing page up. Once they approve your landing page, you can assign your own personal phone number or Google can assign one for you just to track how many calls you're getting. And those calls will be forwarded directly to your ring partner number. And that, very, that gives you a, uh, um, a very high chance of getting a conversion because um, you're, you're sending people directly to your line and they're first seeing your offer so your offer would probably indicate that you're offering 24-hour uh, emergency plumbing services they're making a conscious decision to call your phone number so uh, the chances of you getting a conversion are very high if you set your ad up properly so just to recap here's the process you would find and apply for a campaign on ring partner you would su submit your creative have that proved you're gonna wait approved you're gonna wait maybe one to two business days that's gonna be approved um, and then you're going to search for video keywords. Video keywords are keywords where you type a keyword in Google and it has a video ranking on the first page of Google. And you'll notice Google does not allow a video to rank for every single keyword. It favors certain keywords and the longer the keyword, uh, the longer the tail of the keyword, so to speak, uh, the, the, the more likely you'll see a video ranking on the first page. And you can manually search for video keywords. Or you can use an automated tool. Um, my personal favorite tool to use for this is a, cool, a tool called Niche Pulse by uh, Cliff Kerrigan. And it, it, it allows you to input a, uh, a massive number of keywords, a list of keywords into the system. And it will, manu it will manually check Google for you and tell you if there are any videos ranking uh, for that particular keyword. Um, you want to start with video keywords because... Um, this is a clear indicator that uh, it is possible to put a video on the first page of Google. And once you know that, um, you'll really know that you're, you're not wasting your time trying to rank keyword for a video that will uh, maybe never rank. So you find a video keyword and then you're going to further, you're going to do uh, keyword research because in addition to that video keyword, you're going to want to target other keywords that could potentially bring in more traffic uh, to your video as well. Um, two good examples here are the Google Keyword Planner, and then there's a tool called the uh, Keyword Shitter. I know it sounds kind of funny, but uh, it is actually a real keyword tool. If you go to uh, Google and type in Keyword Shitter, I spelled it wrong. Keyword Shitter. Here we go. Of course, my internet is moving slow today when I'm trying to do a video. Anyway, so let's say we type in, you type in a seed keyword. In this case, we're talking about 24-hour emergency plumber. And you say shit keywords. You can put in positive or negative filters. And it's going to give you every keyword that someone may have recently searched in Google um, with that seed keyword starting as, as your base and as you can see, it continues to run and run and run and run and run. So you could literally target the entire United States using variations of these keywords 
that you're pulling from uh, keyword shitter and of course the uh, Google AdWords tool unless you know how to manipulate it and change it back to show the exact search volume uh, you're going to be working with a range of uh, search volume per keyword now let's shoot back over to the process here I'll let you guys play with the keyword tools that I recommended here the last step is to um, put together a video <coughs> keyword description a, uh, a video description where you're going to lay out everything that you want to go in your uh, your video description you're going to put your title um, uh, you're going to come up with a title for your video a description for your video and all your tags the tags can be a combination um, variations of the words you find from keyword shitter and the, the keyword planner and then you're going to upload the video I recommend you live stream it because that's going to give you an extra uh, ranking boost in Google so to speak um, the last thing before I let you go I have a live uh, a real example of uh, a channel I set up for a uh, dentist campaign that I started and I never did anything with but I want to show it to you because uh, I think it'll kind of put everything in perspective for you uh, and show you exactly kind of a blueprint you should follow and you can literally copy this blueprint and just change change the keywords around depending on what kind of campaign you're promoting so uh, let's take a look at that right now this is a channel I set up a few months back I haven't done anything with it but just to kind of talk you through the process when you set up a new YouTube channel you're gonna to want to kind of name your channel whatever keyword that you want to rank for overall this channel was designed to be a 24-hour uh, emergency dental services channel for the entire uh, United States and my thought process was just to keep uploading videos for uh, major cities in the US when you're setting up a channel ideally this should not be here uh, this is one of the uh, the gallery templates from YouTube but you want to upload a custom banner here for your channel something with the same keywords here or something that gives the visitor a clear indication of what kind of channel this is all about I'm going to click over the videos here and the one I want you to focus your attention on really quickly is the 24-hour emergency dentist Stafford VA now I know for a fact this this uh, this video is currently ranking on the first page of Google um, in Stafford Virginia and I'm gonna right click and just search Google so I can show you what I mean boom there you go this is what you want you want anyone so for example people in Stafford Virginia may be typing in 24-hour emergency dentist Stafford VA if they come into a dental emergency as you can see the video stands out more than any other listing on the page and that's why I tend to like to use YouTube videos more than anything else so what typically happens if it's late night there's an emergency there's uh, you know a child has a mouthful of blood how long do you think a parent is going to sift through these listings before they just say hey this one stands out the most I see a number it's more likely they're going to call this number right away than to click through each one of these and see which one is going to be more appropriate they're in a rush they need something quickly and that's why these types of videos where you're targeting an urgent need or something that needs to be done quickly emergency locksmith emergency dentist emergency plumber these are the the offers you want to choose because they're going to convert uh, at a higher rate because people need the service and they need it right now so I hope this video was helpful for you um, if you uh, if you if you if you go back to this video here I want you to scroll down to the video description um, there's this is kind of a, a good template you can use you can literally copy and paste this and uh, use it for different campaigns just change out the city or the niche depending on what you're trying to promote but um, and just keep changing the city and you'll, you'll continue to rank over and over and over for these videos guys this is literally how you get passive income if you just keep setting up these videos um, and just you just sit back and you'll see the leads start coming in this works very well and you can do the same thing with web 2.0 properties just set them up the expired ones work best because they have um, page authority and some of them have trust flow so you can get them ranking in Google a lot easier than um, starting from scratch with a brand new WordPress now I hope this video was very helpful for you again if you like what you hear and like what you see please subscribe to my channel visit my website lennysnapmarket.com um, I'm gonna put a link where you can uh, you can get that you can download this video template here and a word file and you can also um, get free entry into my uh, my mastermind group that I have on Facebook where you can connect with other marketers and ask pretty much anything you want to ask about internet marketing CPA marketing um, paper call marketing 
it, the, the door is wide open, just a community for uh, folks to connect. It's a small group right now, but we're constantly growing and uh, you're more than welcome to join us. So thanks again for watching this video and I hope to help you clear some things up about how to promote uh, paper call campaigns. This is Lenny Rouse signing out.